guys, what's up? So on a few videos back, I installed a uh, single plane manifold for this uh, early Bronco and the Holy Terminator. And uh, I had the idle totally perfectly dialed in. And now that I put this uh, single plane manifold in here, it's, it's all jacked up again. So, um, and actually this is the most difficult thing. I, I think over the, I've had this Holy Terminator for a couple of years. Um, it's getting the idle dialed in, you know, it's kind of a pain in the ass. It's getting the thing not to hunt. So let me show you real quick. So right now it's out of gear. And let me put it in gear real quick and I'll... It's not usually when I put it in gear. So right now, uh, my in gear idle is around correct. I have it set for about 850. And uh, right now I know the uh, idle air control valve is not controlling everything. So let me take it out of gear. And then you'll see that it kind of wants to hunt for a little bit. I don't know if you can hear the RPMs go up and down or you can see them as it catches up. I mean, it's not really bad right now, but I mean, as you can see, I haven't set the idle right now. It's set to nine. It's this is this is a curb idle, not in gear. So in my idle, um, go back to home here and uh, tuning basic uh, basic idle, and you can see it's set to 850 right there. Zoom in. So I need to make the curb idle. I gotta adjust it down to about 850 so it matches because right now the idle air control valve is trying to, it's freaking out. I'll show you then a couple, I'll go back to home. Sorry. Uh, monitor and uh, multi gauge, and I'm gonna do outputs here. That way you can see this is the. Uh, idle air control valve position right there at 0%. Let me put this back in gear again. And it's at about 4. So um, that's actually in gear and the idle air control valve is actually controlling idle. So out of gear and it goes to 0 and it starts kind of trying to hunt around, you know. Um, so out of, out of gear, hot. I want to make this thing about, you know, anywhere from about five to seven, probably. I mean, four now, but whatever. It just it needs to have something, you know. I mean, at, at, at uh, curb idle, out of gear. So um, that way, it actually, it can control the fluctuation a little bit more. Another thing too is um, having the idle air control valve settings to slow is usually helps out a little bit. Um, and all this, I mean, most of the stuff that I learned from this. Holy EFI stuff. Uh, I learned from online the Holy EFI forums. Uh, Danny, he's a moderator there. Guy makes some really good articles. So, um, like I said, I mean, all the credit really goes to him because I mean, I, I read all his articles. So, all right, cool. So um, I got to get out there and uh, mess with mess with the curb idle and get going. So, um, be back and I'll show you one of the issues I have every time I do the curb idle. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but I'll be back. I'm not sure you can hear me, but just remember there's there's two curb idle settings on this thing. You have one right here, that's the primaries, and there's a secondary little screw back there underneath the map sensor. And that controls the back uh, valve blades. So um, what kind of sucks, what I was saying earlier, is that every time I make an adjustment to this thing, the, the primaries, I have to, um, it, it messes with my uh, throttle cable here, which is a, I have an AOD transmission. So it messes my, with my shift points. So I have to always mess with this shit every time I uh, mess with the primary. So um, I'm gonna see if I can get that down just by hitting the secondaries a little bit. Um, it's kind of a pain in the ass getting there. Ah, fuck it, it's tight. Now I'm trying to get this down to about 800 RPM to match if I can, you know. This is just a, just you gotta just kind of mess around with it a little bit here and there. It definitely went down lower in RPM. So before it used to idle around uh, 980 or so. Down about 9:30. So it's getting there. All right, I'll be back. I just gotta keep on playing it, adjusting it back and forth, and 
get it down to the speed that I want to get it at, and I want to. Um, where are we? I want to go back. Okay, oh, we're sorry. Outputs. I want to make sure this. I want to get the IA position in a, in a good range. All right, cool. It's now a cold idle. We're not cold idle. Uh, curb idle. And, uh, and it's really it's just like a going back and forth. I mean, it's not perfect. I mean, but it's, it's just God. It's so this is the biggest pain in the ass I, I have to deal with in this system is getting this idle correct. But yeah, I was I had it all dialed in, then I changed my intake. Uh, okay, there we go. So IA positions at 15%. And it's gonna take a while to kind of get self-adjusted again. I have to do another throttle position set again. Um, they should actually keep on lowering the AI because it, until it gets down to it's trying to get down to 850. See, it keeps on trying to lower the AIC, get down to AF. There we go. That, at least in that range. Right, I'm gonna drive this around for a couple days and see how it, how it goes. Like I said, I just don't really like the hunting, you know, like when I'm going from drive. And like I said, it probably, when it's in drive, it's perfectly fine, just when you take it out of it. Like I say, if I'm at a, at a stop or getting food at a restaurant or something in a fast food line, you know, it's hunting everywhere, you know? Like right there, it's, it's good hunting, it goes from lean and. You see the IZ trying to lower down, it's trying to lower the, you know, it's letting less air into the engine to try to lower the RPM. So I'll mess with this with a couple days and see how it goes. All right. um, now I got to do the throttle position sensor uh, set. So throttle position sensor set. Okay. All right. Okay, go back home. Okay, another little trick that I do is I uh, I turn it up about a quarter turn because I've always had issues getting the throttle position sensor to go back to zero. Another little fucking issue with the Terminator. Um, uh, where are we at? Wizards. Okay. Throw TPS set next. Okay. So. Next, done. Okay, home. Tuning. Or back to home, sorry. Monitor. Multi gauge sensors. So that's zero. But this is always an issue with this car. It'll go back to 1%. I, I mean, I already know how to, I've done this so many times, that a million times. So, so what I did earlier was I, I had. Tighten it a quarter of a turn, like not even a quarter turn, but just a little bit. Now I'm gonna turn it back off a little bit. I don't know why, it's just like it's such a little bitch that. So bef before, th this was my original setting that I had good with the idle air control valve. I turned it a little bit, set the auto, uh, did the wizard for the throttle position sensor set. Then I turn it back. And actually, that will make it, usually it makes me get back to the right zero again. Because uh, if I don't do that, it always stays like 1%. You know what I mean? So, all right, cool.